and welcome to Episode 1 of the Growing Dentist Podcast Series. I'm Jamie Edson, and I want to thank you all for joining us today. The Growing Dentist Podcast comes to you as a bi-monthly series. Each episode will address a specific aspect or shed light on core issues, ideas, and or processes that can put dentists on the fast track to success. That is our aim for these podcast series, and we want you to be a part of this growth process. All links are in the show notes, and please come back often. And now, let's get started. Hi, Naren. I want to start off with a few questions that will provide our listeners with a better understanding of the growing dentist and the vision and goals behind these podcast series. You are the CEO and founder of Equa Marketing and Doctor's Choice Awards, and now you are launching the growing dentist. But before we get to the entrepreneur, let me ask you specifically, what is the growing dentist all about? Thank you, Jamie. It's wonderful to get Growing Dentist off the ground. To answer your question, Growing Dentist is a bi-monthly podcast series. Through this series, we will interview dentists, we will interview coaches and consultants who help dentists, as well as experts from outside of dentistry. And the idea is really, really simple. When we look at people who are very successful, they all have a growth mindset and they're always looking for ideas and strategies, regardless of from where those ideas and strategies come from. So our goal for this podcast series is to bring those ideas, share it with our listeners and discuss and reflect on those ideas. I'm sure our listeners want to know what you mean by bigger future. However, before we get to that, let's talk about the vision behind the the growing dentist. Yes. Over the last 12 years, I have had the great fortune to create a bigger future that's 100 times bigger today than it was 12 years ago. We did this as a team. So this bigger future helped uh, and was created by our team members, our clients, and all the other people we work with. And it was not a straight line upwards. It was more like a zigzag. We took three steps forward, one step back, and one step sideways. But along the way, we learned a lot and we grew a lot. Also, we got the opportunity to be part of the Bigger Future journey for many of our clients. We currently work with around 140 dentists. And I would have to say many of our clients are some of the most successful clients in the United States, Canada, UK, and Australia. And these clients, all, you know, many of them started out, you know, with a much smaller future than the future they have today. But through perseverance and creativity, they always looked at how to make tomorrow better than yesterday. So I'm very, very proud of not just the success that I have been able to create for my team and all of our people, but also the success that we were part of um, in, in the journeys that our 140 dentists took. And along the way, we learned a lot and we grew a lot. Okay, so let me ask you, what do you mean by bigger future? Yes, so I have had the privilege of working with 140 dentists and around 70 doctors. And um, many of them have been with us um, over the last, you know, 8 to 10 years as clients and now they have become friends. So when I talk about bigger future, usually it touches on one of four areas. One, obviously, is money, right? We all want more money because that allows us to do other things. Second is relationships. You know, we all want to enjoy the time we spend with the people we care about. So it's both the people we serve, you know, in the case of a dentist, that's their patient, as well as the people they work with their team members and their partners. And finally, we all want more purpose and more meaning. Uh, In the beginning, we will do anything and everything, but as we grow and mature, we will start looking for um, the meaning of what we are about to do. And last but not least, time. We also want to create more time for ourselves because if there's one commodity we all have a limited amount of, that's time. So, 
when i talk about bigger future i'm talking about time money relationships and purpose can you tell me what bigger future typically looks like say for a young dentist who is just starting out yes every dentist is different but typically when a dentist starts out the number one and the only thing they care about is increasing their collection increasing how much money they take home usually at the beginning they don't even care about profit they just want enough money to come in so they can pay the pay the bills and stay afloat that's how everybody starts out at least that's how most of the dentists that I have had the privilege of working with when they started building their practice start out but then what happens is they start realizing that there's a difference between collections or revenues and profit then i start noticing they start paying more attention to profit and then as their success grows and as their business grows their definition of success starts changing now is when they start thinking about other things beyond profit let's talk about a dentist who is 3 to 5 plus years in practice so this would be the stage when they realize money does not necessarily equal happiness what happens next you are right typically a dentist who has been in practice for 3 to 5 years probably is just at the point of starting a family maybe they have a kid on the way or they might have one or two young kids and they realize that money alone doesn't make them happy they realize that the time they get to spend with their family and their young children is more important than any amount of money they can make so slowly but surely their priority starts shifting i'm not saying they forget about money they don't but what i also notice is that they start prioritizing money with time so conversations typically are like this you know um currently i work 55 hours 40 hours seeing patients and 15 hours running my business how do i now work you know 30 hours seeing patients and 10 hours running my business so these are the type of questions that they start asking as the founder of equa marketing a business dedicated to helping dentists grow um, grow with the help of marketing then we start looking at how do we support that vision of spending less time but still like the maintaining of growing revenues so we'll start looking at the type of work they do that's the most profitable that's the most enjoyable so to create a bigger future you need a team and you need to work with others and you need to have everybody kind of marching to the same tune that is interesting when people want a bigger future they want more time and they want more money what else goes into a bigger future yes one of the common things i notice is as they get older they don't want to be just another tooth mechanic it becomes important for the dentist to be part of the process of helping people become healthier so quality of work starts becoming more and more important to them it's about work that gives them a sense of satisfaction so i see a lot of dentists who start really really pursuing continuing ed- continuous education a lot they start getting trained um they start looking at ways to do more meaningful work more excellent work so they want more money more time and a deeper purpose um it's interesting journey where does this lead them just like they don't want to just be a tooth mechanic and they start caring about the kind of work they do when they go deep in the clinical side I typically also see them start paying attention to relationships. So a lot of dentists tell me that they don't they are fulfilled serving the patients they are serving. So sometimes they start adjusting their practices to go after patients who give them a sense of satisfaction. So currently we have 35 dentists who specifically target patients who are very health minded. The people who care about what they eat how they take care of their bodies these are the same people who shop at whole foods and these dentists have gone deeper and deeper at studying materials like what kind of materials can you use in dentistry and they start educating these patients about how dentistry can also be done in a way that's very health conscious and they start getting a lot of satisfaction serving those kind of patients 
who do care about their health, who do care about their well-being. So they start now working as a partner with their patients in creating a bigger future for the patient. That's all about health. So you are saying time, money, purpose, and relationships. These are all things they focus on when creating a bigger future. I think we can dedicate an episode to those dentists who have learned about life and work balance. But that's an episode for another day. For now, let me get back to bigger future. So yes, they start paying attention to the type of patients they serve and the relationships they have with their, those patients. Do they start thinking about this with their team as well? Absolutely. Relationships do become very important to them. And yes, they care about the relationship with their patients. They also care about the relationships with their team members. So they start looking for certain kinds of people. As you as you know, this podcast is named Growing Dentist. One of the mindsets that all of our clients uh, share is a growth mindset. These are the people who look at the world or the glass as half full. They don't look at the half empty part of the glass and complain. They look at the half full part of the glass and appreciate the half full part of the glass and then ask the question, how do I grow it even further? So they're always noticing the positives and then they're building on those positives. So just like they are looking for a certain kind of patient, they start looking for team members who also have a growth mindset. And um, one of the things I do when I talk to potential clients is I ask them, how long has your team been around? When a dentist tells me that I, I love my team and they have been with me for ages and everybody is so valuable, that tells me that typically these are patients or these are doctors who have a growth mindset and who have attracted other people with a similar mindset who look forward to the future, who look forward to creating the future. So, yes, they do care about relationships with their patients and their team members and they start becoming more selective in, in approaching these relationships and growing these relationships. So, bigger future means people want more time, more money, more from relationships and more clearly defined purpose. So then the Growing Dentist podcast series will have topics that cover future growth in these core areas, time, money, purpose, and relationships? Yes, you are correct. We will focus specifically on creating a bigger future and all these four parts of the bigger future, right? Time, money, purpose, relationships. But we'll dive a lot deeper into the practice side of things because all of our listeners are people who run practices. As people who are running practices day in and day out, they are constantly asking questions about, you know, how do I improve my case acceptance or how do I better find patients who care about health or who care about certain parts of dentistry that the doctor also cares about. So we'll get into nuts and bolts, we'll get into details, we'll talk to actual dentists, we'll talk to experts, we'll talk to coaches and we'll even go beyond the dental industry to get some different ideas and thoughts. Who will be guest on the podcast series? So, for example, I have been privileged to be part of the journey of many successful dentists. So, we'll invite some of them, have them share their stories, have them discuss how they created a niche for themselves that gave them an edge in the marketplace, how they created a future that was better for the patients as well as their team members. We'll talk to experts. So we might one day bring an expert who understands how to improve case acceptance. We might bring another expert who talks about building wealth. We might even go outside of dentistry to find people who have very specific ideas and experiences that they would like to share with our dentist. So we are looking for people who have a growth mindset who have created a bigger future in any one of these four areas and we are looking to share those ideas and experiences with our listeners. Right. So, Naren, now that you have introduced the podcast, let us talk a little about you. You founded Equa Marketing and it has 170 people now, correct? Correct. So, just a little bit about myself. I am um, in my early 40s. Um, I started out as a programmer and quickly realized that I like building things, I like creating things. So I have been on an entrepreneurial journey 
over the last uh, since 2004 so we over the last 14 uh, sorry 12 years and um, i wouldn't do it any other way currently i'm the founder and ceo of equa marketing it's a it's a company that serves around 210 dentists and uh, dermatologists and plastic surgeons and we are very proud of the fact that 90% of our clients stay with us i also am the founder of uh, doctors choice award fans choice and growmyreviews.com as you might see i love growing i love new ideas i'm the kind of person who loves to change the world who loves to create a bigger future so i spend a lot of my time working with my team members and working with our clients in thinking about these ideas in trying these ideas and in learning and constantly growing now one of the lessons i learned is to grow a business or to create a bigger future that's 100 times bigger or even a thousand times bigger you need people who complement you who have other capabilities that you don't have so i know i'm really good at innovation and creativity and that's really my sweet spot but then i have other people who are good at the things i'm not good at whether it's taking care of customers or whether it's paying attention to the details and making sure the i's are dotted and t's are crossed so that's a little bit about myself i believe this is a good introduction thank you for your time naren thank you very much jamie uh, and i do appreciate the opportunity uh, for you spending time with me and kind of helping people understand what we are trying to do with this growing pot growing dentist podcast series i hope to meet you all again uh, often and uh, frequently so definitely download the podcast and come back to the website and there will be lots of materials and lots of information uh, that you can grab from this so i hope you enjoy this series thank you very much